Okay ladies, we are gonna start here with a super easy and neutral, perfect for any occasion, day to night look. So we start off with our glorious face primer here. We use a pea size amount, a little goes a long way, put it all over our face and wait a few minutes. Then we're going in with the Touch Liquid Foundation, it's one of the more popular products, and the Liquid Foundation Brush. Shake it first, and then we put a few drops on the brush and we buff it into our skin. Don't forget that neck and that hairline to make sure everything blends well. Now I'm going in with the Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer and Unique's Damp Beauty Bud. We are applying the concealer in a triangular motion from our tear duct down the sides of our nose and up the tops of our cheekbones. Now we're going in with our angled blush brush and our beachfront bronzer. Make a crazy fishy face here and bring back some dimension in your face by creating some cheekbones, bronzing around the tops of your forehead, maybe under your jaw and the sides of your nose. Again, that gives you a little more structure in your face. Now I'm taking the shimmery side, just got a slight glow to it and putting it on the tops of my cheekbones. We are adding a little bit of the mineral blush here in the shade Seductive. It's a beautiful dusty rose. Now we're going in with the uh, mineral eye primer to go ahead and put all over our lids and we are going in with one of the most popular splurge shadows which is called Elegant. It's a beautiful shimmery champagne. I love this color. It's beautiful on every skin tone and if you don't like shimmer, we have some matte shades available. Now I'm going in with Addiction Palette 4 and my favorite of brushes, this is a liner shader brush, and I am going to take that light brown shade called Arrogant and I'm going to brush it into my brows using the liner portion of the brush to give myself a nice natural looking brow but to fill in those sparse areas. Brows really make a big difference. Now I'm taking a precision pencil here, improper, it's a dark brown, it's the eyeliner. These are smudge proof and waterproof, they'll stay all day. We're going in now with our mascara here. Um, we're doing a gel first, coating the lashes on one eye, um, and then I take a little of the fiber, you can roll it on the back of your hand, and while those are setting into the gel, I go and do my other eye. So again, we do gel here, making sure my lashes are coated, and then roll it on the back of my hands and do the fibers. Um, wipe off any excess you may have, and then you're going to just go back and seal the deal. This way you will not have fibers dropping all over your face. And if you get it all over your eyelids like I did, go ahead and take a Q-tip and look how easy the cleanup is. And then I just put gel alone on my bottom lashes, no need for fibers. So now I'm going to take one of our most popular liners, and it is in the shade Pouty Eye. I'm obsessed with this beautiful nude natural looking liner, it's a perfect nude, and I am taking Affluent Lipstick, so beautiful creamy long wearing lipstick. I love this easy daytime look, but if you want to go a step further, if you have a few more minutes, go ahead and brighten up those tear ducts with Tender. If you want to take it a step farther, go ahead and take that darker brown shade on a crease brush, it is called Brave and use that in your outer V, the outer portion of your eyes, and in your crease. And I even do mine under my lower lash line to just smoke it out a little bit. This will add a little more drama. It'll make it um, more appropriate if you're trying to kind of go out for night or just for a special occasion, pictures, anything like that. It's still very neutral, so again, you could wear this every single day, but it adds a bit more drama. Taking that tender on the shader portion of the shader liner brush, and I do it under the brows. Another little trick here is if you put tender in the middle of your lips, you make your lips more uh, appear more full by highlighting them. Put it on the top of your cheekbones, the center of your nose, down your cupid's bow, and you will see you've also added a pretty glow to your face. Want to add a little more drama for night? Take that same proper liner and put it on your waterline. That'll add a little more drama and make the eyes pop, as you can see here. So we are going to clean up. So if you add a darker shade and you need to clean up, you can clean up again with your concealer to sharpen that line and brighten those under eyes. You went from a very easy daytime look to a night appropriate look, neutral and perfect for everyone. I hope you all have an awesome day.